Tony Stark, wealthy man. He puts on a suit. He flies around the cities doing good deeds. And we think he is super cool. Come on. I know young kids, they got the mask out now that it really opens and closes. Daniel 2.42 speaks of the last kingdom. And the toes of the feet, partly iron, partly clay. Now we see men and women in iron spaceships. There's all kinds of machines. There's all kinds of satellites transversing our heavens right now. They are communicating from the heavens to the earth. When life gets hard, we all kind of would like a superhero to show up in our lives and help us out. The truth from heaven to each of you, you are the superhero that so many people in the world today are looking for. Now, Tony Stark, he knows the power of his suit. He communicates between him and Jarvis. But your suit, a body that is made with clay, brought to life by the breath of the Holy Spirit through salvation. He operates in you through relationship and you communicate between God and you. For it was you, God, who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. And I will praise you because I have been fearfully and wonderfully made. No superhero can outdo what God has made in us. God's image, his likeness, his power is within you. But the enemy wants you to look outward. He does not want you to understand the power that you carry. God has compassion, love for us, to comfort us in all of our afflictions. He has given us the same ability to love, to comfort, to encourage others, to meet their needs, whether it's somebody to talk to, whether their parent is dying, whether somebody is on the street losing their mind on drugs. He is God. So I want you to say with me, I am a superhero. I am a superhero. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Let's do it again. I am a superhero. But how do I turn on the powers? That's the key. Ephesians 1, 18 through 20. I pray that the eyes of your heart say, the eyes of my heart. That the eyes of my heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which God has called you, the riches of the glorious inheritance he placed in you, and his incomparable great power for those who believe. Now God's power, the Holy Spirit, will turn on the eyes of your heart to listen. To listen. Did you hear me? 1 Kings 3, 9, God says this. This is what I want. Give me a God-listening heart. Did you know that your heart has ears? You can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying through the eyes and the ears of your heart. And Jesus did not only come to save, but to destroy the works of the evil one. We are superheroes every time we tell someone about the good news of Jesus Christ. Because we carry peace. We don't have to look out there for Flash Gordon. We're not looking for Spidey to come and stop robberies. So how we do it is we pray. And we believe. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, and thank you for watching.